let's say you do a fecal transplant. Sometimes, for example, you can actually transplant obesity from a donor to the recipient. And so you could have someone who is very skinny, and now you do a fecal transplant, and now that patient not only gets cured of their C. diff, but they could gain 20 pounds. And, and so it turns out a lot of things we attribute to just hosts, just our DNA, just what we eat, may actually relate to the bugs that are in us, right? And it makes a lot of sense if you think about it, especially for gut-directed issues, right? Could it be that the type of bacteria that you harbor make you more likely to you know, crave sweets or, or crave X or Y or Z? And the fact that even sometimes in the process of these stool transplants, you can actually transplant autoimmune diseases like you're mentioning, theoretically, or um, even things like obesity, which are multifactorial, I, I think are really interesting. These are case reports and no one's quite sure, um, but it's plausible. And, and so I think um, we, we are, are fiddling. It's more than just transplanting the stool, right? You're transplanting a whole ecosystem, right? And sometimes, you know, when you format the hard drive, right, it's, uh, you can get things you don't expect, right? And you're starting from scratch and you're replacing what you had with something that's new. This happens in bone marrow transplants all the time. That's the transplant I think a lot of us are more familiar with in oncology, um, but also organ transplants, right? In which you um, need to have immunosuppression and things like that because you're affecting the immune response. And so stool transplants can make a big difference in, 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 a, in a positive impact, but they can have unknown impacts as well. And that's why it's important to study these for, for not only the diseases we know there's an impact, but also other diseases, because you can transplant things you do not intend to transplant. You could actually potentially make things worse. And it's because right now we just tra uh, you, you transfer everything over. Right. There's no selection. There's no um, right. picking of the good bacteria, removing the bad bacteria. We're not there yet. And so if you're just transplanting everything, you're transplanting everything. <laughs>